I'm reminded when Joe Biden was on the campaign trail, campaigning for the president of the United States, Joe Biden says, I'm going to beat that Joe Biden. And we laughed at that. But if you look at the way things are now, Joe Biden is now sanctioning America. This is insane. America is being sanctioned by America. Now, he claimed to be sanctioning Russia. He claimed to sanction China. But the ones that he's sanctioning the most is right here in this country right here. High gas, gas prices, high food prices, and he's even predicting food prices are going to soar even more. But this is who you voted for. Joe Biden is putting America last. And you were warned that Biden was going to put America last, spending America tax dollars. Now, I mentioned in a past video that Americans need to fight back. And you can fight back by refusing to pay taxes. OK, because if our tax dollars are not going to be spent on Americans, taxpayers, then there's no need for us to pay. Why are we the welfare country? Why are our tax dollars going to the world? But yet Americans are suffering. There are Americans. We just came through a pandemic lost a lot of loved ones and friends. You have people that still have illnesses from COVID-19. But Americans were forced to vaccinate. If they refuse to vaccinate, they lose their jobs. So there's a lot of unemployed Americans, professionals, people that went through the worst part of the so-called pandemic, were essential workers. And now they're losing their jobs because they refuse to become vaccinated. But this is what Joe Biden is doing to America. While the borders are wide open, illegal immigrants are flooding over the borders. They're being flown using our tax dollars to any place they want to be in this country. They're provided with food, with shelter, but yet you have taxpaying Americans that's being evicted, that's on waiting lists to find apartments. And the waiting list is going to get even longer because Joe Biden just vowed to send over 100,000 immigrants, Ukrainians, are coming to this country. So America is being sanctioned by America, but you have people that still support Joe Biden. They refuse to leave the Democrat plantation. See, so I'm going to show you something. This is where our tax dollars are going. Joe Biden is torching and burning America, not just him. This is the Democrat Party is torching and burning America. I mentioned this in a prior video um, on my old channel. You know how insurance company, or better yet, you have businesses that, and even the mob, they used to do that. They used to, if they wanna get out of a business and um, collect insurance money, they would torch and burn their business and then take the insurance money and either rebuild or just go on about their business. This is what's happening to America, which they call it the new world order. OK, they're now starting to reset America. All right. So they open the borders wide up. They're not using America's natural resources, gas prices. I had just paid over sixty dollars to fill my tank, which normally only costs about 40 bucks to fill it. So now it's over 60 bucks to fill my tank, right? Food is insane, you know, but that's the way things are. Postal 
had went up. And yet people are still losing their jobs because they refuse to vaccinate. But check this out. So far with this Ukraine war, which the United States is funding that war in Ukraine, don't be deceived. See, it's all in the name of, oh, we're going to help the Ukrainians. But my thoughts are, if all of this money is being sent to Ukraine, what is those what are those dollars being used for? Because you can't say it's being used to rebuild Ukraine because they're destroying Ukraine. They just got done bombing a hospital. And it's alleged that Ukraine destroyed those hospitals to make it appear that Russia's doing it. All right. So all this money is being sent over there, but yet Ukraine is being destroyed and the people are being scattered. So how is this money benefiting the Ukrainians if they're fleeing? But check this out. 13.6 billion is being sent in aid to Ukraine. An extra 150 million is being sent to Ukraine. 800 million in weapons were sent to Ukraine. 350 million in military to Ukraine. Check this out. Billions of dollars in weapons and equipment was left over in Afghanistan. So all of this money is leaving this country while Americans, taxpayers are struggling. This is our money. So whenever you receive your, your, your paycheck and you see all these taxes taken out, that's where your money's going. And then the little stimulus check that the Americans did receive, they had to pay it back when you filed your taxes. There's people that's not even getting the tax return. And there's people that's got an even shorter tax return just because of those so-called stimulus checks. We have to pay back our tax dollars, but yet these foreigners are receiving it without having to pay anything back, without having to be vaccinated, how are they going to vet and vaccinate all those immigrants that's coming over here? So now they're going to receive 100,000 Ukrainians. And only God above knows how many more, right? But these are the people you voted in office. Now, I want to quickly speak on uh, this female judge that is be is they're, they're confirming this is the confirmation into the Supreme Court. Now, I see a lot of y'all posting her picture and saying that uh, the Republicans are racist towards her. But you seem to forget that the only reason she's in this position, the only reason she's being confirmed is because Biden picked her for being a black woman. He told you that he was picking her, not because of her qualifications, but because of the fact that she's a black woman. Now, keep in mind, if she is confirmed, which I doubt she would be, and I hope she don't, but if she's confirmed, she is now representing black females, being the first black woman on the Supreme Court, that support and was really light on sex offenders, you know, child pornography, right? She supports them. She even apologized to a pervert. She apologized to him, right? And going to try to encourage them, you know, I want them to understand why this is happening and the people they hurt. So then she gave them less time then was recommended. So she's supporting these perverts, these pedophiles. She's not protecting the children. Not only that, this female was asked a question, what is a woman? And she said she didn't know. She don't know what a woman is. Here is a so-called black female don't know what a woman is.
Now, when she first, when they first started that confirmation hearing and she spoke and gave her introduction, she introduced her family. And I kind of felt good seeing that. Okay. And I knew, I knew that there was, I knew that she was far, far left. I knew she was there for, for Biden's purpose. Okay. For his own agenda. Okay. There's a method to his madness, but she introduced her family. She introduced her mom and her dad and her brother, right? Even talked about how her moms gave her an African name. Then she said, and this is my husband, a white doctor, which to me, he looks kind of sweet, right? And he actually sat there and cried while she was, you know, speaking anyway. But he looked kind of sweet to me. But all of these dark skinned people from Florida, and then she's got a white husband, a doctor now. Hey, listen. Love who you love, you know, if, if and I, I'm not hating on interracial relationships, but she got up there, so-called first black woman to the Supreme Court, and she's got a white husband. She is not representing the so-called black family. Why didn't she get someone that looked like her dad? Another thing that stood out to me was that she said that her mom supported the whole family. So my thoughts are like, okay, well, if the mom supported the whole family and the mom was getting all the praise and the props, where was the dad? Because he was sitting there looking proud, but yet no one praised the dad. She didn't speak well of the dad. She just said, oh, my father's here. And uh, even one of the uh, senators was you know, talking about how the dad was looking proud and whatnot. But she spoke on her mom supporting the whole family. Now, her father could have been in school or whatnot. They didn't mention that. They mentioned it once. And then every all the credit was given to the mom because she struggled and supported the family. Right. Completely left the father out of the mix. And then when she spoke on her brother, which I believe she lied, she said that he went to college. He got a degree and then decided to go in the, the military after 9-11, and he chose to go into the infantry. Now, why would he go into, um, why would he go to the front line? Why would you choose, if you have a degree and you have a skill, be it engineering, um, electrical, whatever, whatever, right? Whatever his degree was in, you have that knowledge, but yet you're going to not take that and say, I want to go to the front line where I can lose my life instantly. I want to be a grunt. I want to join the infantry with this degree, with these skills that I've gotten in college. Forget about this education. I want to go to the front line because of 9-11. That don't make sense to me. I think she was lying. I really think she was lying. Either she was lying or he doesn't have it all up here. He's not wrapped too tight, if that was the case. And I think she was saying that to sound, uh, to make her brother sound patriotic, to make it sound like her family is patriotic. But she don't even know what a woman is. And you guys are on the internet praising her just because she's got a brown face. And you have black females out there proud to see that. You know, especially because of the fact that she's got a white husband, right? You guys think she's made it. We've made it. The first black woman to the Supreme Court, but yet no reparations. You guys are still on the bottom. And for you black females out there that that's that's boasting and bragging and thinking that you have you have made it, you forget about your past and how you guys were raped. And I'm off the topic, but you guys were raped. You know, and how you guys were beaten and, and whipped and your children snatched away from you. And now you're repeating what the slave master did to you because now you're aborting your own children. This female supports abortion, right? So everything negative 
it seemed that black people have adopted everything negative and anything positive or progressive you guys shun and you call it racist right now again you forget this female was selected by biden in open racist he was she was selected by him because she's black and then you guys want to say oh the republicans you know see a black woman she's intelligent she's not too intelligent she don't know what a woman is right so joe biden sanctioned america i've never seen anything like this before in my life things are going to get a whole lot worse this is only bible prophecy right it's tight but it's right and you guys better gear up and we're in a time where you it's 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 almost impossible to trust people you can't trust because you don't know who's on the lord's side because so many black people especially black females have gone to the dark side when you turn on uh youtube all you see are these videos of these so-called black witches i've never seen that coming up in my time now you had black people that was into roots and 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 voodoo and you know, but to just straight out openly, you're a witch and you're doing tarot cards, you're doing spells and just negative. And you wonder why you go through the things that you go through. Yes, you may see the so-called first black female on the Supreme Court, but that doesn't make, that doesn't enhance your life. That don't make your life better. That don't protect you from getting your head beat in. Now, y'all may laugh, you black females may laugh that these brothers are getting shot by police, but you forget about Sandra Bland. It's not just black men, it's you too. And you will be used for your body and kicked to the side. So, listen, we're in, we're in troubled times. And a family that prays together, stay together. So if you have a strong family, a, a strong home base, value that. A family that prays together, stay together. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app, click on the uh, chime. Um, it's right on the bottom, PayPal. Till next time. I'm fearless. <laughs>